There is a lot more in the abyss of the cosmos than what meets the eyes. Besides the outer space galaxies, solar systems, planets and dark matter, space is overwhelmed with rocky asteroids that sooner or later might crash into Earth. What's so fascinating about the asteroids is their composition as it may lead to the answers of the origin of life. Well, it has been a quest that has long kept NASA scientists on their toes, eventually motivating them to invent a spacecraft, OSIRIS-REx. The spacecraft is designed to procure samples from asteroids that pose a threat of even the slightest chance of crashing into Earth. And in its debut expedition, the spacecraft was sent to the carbon-rich asteroid Bennu bringing back history worth billions of years. Wouldn't it be thrilling to gather an in-depth knowledge of the very making of our universe? To be able to understand where we came from, or at least have some proof of the beginning of our existence. Our space is an oasis of free-floating rocky fragments that are leftovers from the formation of our solar system. These rocks, called asteroids, comprise chemical elements and orbit the Sun in a belt between Mars and Jupiter. During their orbiting journey, asteroids start to inch closer to planets due to gravitational pull, increasing their chances of crashing. Usually large in shape and size, the asteroid descending from space with a lightning-fast speed collides into planets with massive impact. Such asteroids, nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets that allows them to enter an orbit in Earth's neighborhood, are called near-Earth objects, also known as NEOs. A classic example of an asteroid blasting into Earth is the Chicxulub impactor, responsible for wiping out the existence of dinosaurs from Earth. In fact, just a decade ago an asteroid almost the size of a tennis court crashed into Earth's atmosphere in Chelyabinsk, Russia. The impact led to shattered windows all over the city, injuring around 1,500 people. To avoid future destruction caused due to the asteroids, NASA scientists built a spacecraft to track and understand their nature and course. The OSIRIS-REx is the first U.S. mission to collect a sample from an asteroid. The spacecraft was launched in 2016 to travel to a near-Earth asteroid named Bennu, landing on it in 2018. The OSIRIS-REx dropped off the sample into the Utah desert in September 2023, but didn't land. The Astro-Materials Curation Team at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston collected 2.48 ounces of asteroid material from the sample hardware even before removing the lid. The team then removed two stubborn fasteners. Post that, they will be removing the round metal collar and transfer the remaining sample from the Touch and Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism, also known as Taxum, head into pie wedge sample trays. The remaining material includes dust and rocks up to about 0.4 inch in size. NASA expected the asteroid material collection of 2.12 ounces but surpassed it with 2.48 ounces. While the team will be preserving 75% of the sample for future scientists, the remaining 25% will be studied currently. This will help scientists gather information for future robotic and human missions, including those with NASA's Space Launch System to deep space destinations. The study will further help NASA determine Bennu's physical and chemical properties in case of an impact mitigation mission. Bennu is one of the most potentially hazardous asteroids with a high probability of impacting the Earth late in the 22nd century around the year 2182. It is about one-third of a mile wide at its equator. It is touted to be an ancient relic of our solar system's early days, containing more than 4.5 billion years of history. According to scientists, Bennu must be a broken chip of a much larger carbon-rich asteroid about 700 million to 2 billion years ago. It is likely to have formed in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, 
and has since then drifted closer to Earth. But the million-dollar question that is begging to be answered is proof of the origin of life. According to Solveig Orvin, mission manager for OSIRIS-REx at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, this carbonaceous asteroid may also contain the molecular precursors to the origin of life and the Earth's oceans. How is that you would ask? That is because the composition of Bennu is so old that it is likely to contain organic molecules similar to those that could have been involved with the start of life on Earth. The study to unearth the characteristics of Bennu and gain some knowledge of the origin of life is ongoing. But it will take scientists many more years to assemble concrete proof. While that happens, Imagine if you were to discover that after all your body is a cosmic amalgamation of dust and chemicals. If you found this video intriguing, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Edge of the Universe. Hit the bell icon to stay updated as we unravel many more mysteries.